Ag amazing day to all. This is Teacher Dan Rogayan and welcome to another episode of our Letter Review Drill. Bahagi po ito ng ating paghahanda for your licensure examination for professional teachers come March 2025 for science majorship. So we will be rationalizing once again uh, another 10 items for this uh, drill. So let me first uh, share my slide. All right, so we are now in review drill number 13, and our review focus for this episode would be organic chemistry. So handa na po ba kayong muli? Nasamahan ako na magsagot ng ating mga items, which are less sensitive and parallel to the licensure examination for professional teachers and based on the enhanced table of specification. So of course, let us all be reminded of our goal to pass and even top the board licensure examination for teachers. So alam ko na mahirap, nakakapagod, nakakadrain, napakaraming concepts na kailangan nating balikan. But uh, of course, with um, our determination, our perseverance, and our faith in God, I know that you'll be able to pass the board exam. So kapit lang, future top notches, uh, future LPTs. Okay, so uh, sama-sama tayo no, sa... Uh, pagtupad no, ng mga pangarap na ito. So I know that you'll be able to ace and nail the board exam. So I hope you have your pen and paper with you. And uh, as I mentioned, we'll be focusing on organic chemistry. So this is part of our enhanced table of specifications released by the PRC in 2022. So here we have two learning outcomes relate the structural characteristics and properties of organic compounds and describe the basic reactions of organic compounds. All right, so I think everybody's ready now. So let's start. Item number one, which of the following elements is always present in an organic compound? A, oxygen, B, hydrogen, C, nitrogen, D, carbon. All right, so what's your, what's your answer, future top notchers? Of course, this is, yes, of course, that is letter D, carbon. No? So this is always present in an organic compound. And when we talk about uh, organic compounds, they're, they're are defined no, by the presence of the carbon atoms, forming covalent bonds. So organic chemistry is essentially the study of carbon-containing compounds. And the ones the board exam would ask you was considered as a father of organic chemistry, which was already asked in the previous board. That's Friedrich Wuller from 1800 to 1882. So he synthesized urea from ammonium, cyan ammonium cyanate, disproving vitalism. Organic compounds can be synthesized from inorganic one. So that's urea. So that's Wuller, father of organic chemistry. So in the previous board, in the previous boards you know, for science majorship, uh, there are questions you know, regarding uh, father of a specific discipline. So let's try some of them. Who is considered as the father of alchemy and early chemistry. Remember, alchemy is the old name for chemistry. So just in case, no, this will be asked, that is, that's Habir Ibn Hayyan. Okay, so Habir Ibn Hayyan is the father of alchemy and early chemistry. Who's na, naman the father of modern chemistry? Who is the father of modern chemistry? So this is, that's correct, Antoine Lavoisier or Antoine Lavoisier, right? So Antoine, La Antoine Laurent Lavoisier, so the, the father of modern chemistry. He was the man, the father of the modern periodic table of elements. He is the father of the modern periodic table of elements. That's correct. That is Dmitry Ivanovich Mendeleev. Oh. So Mendeleev is the father of modern periodic table of elements. Who is the father of atomic theory? Who is credited to be the father of atomic theory? This is actually John Dalton. So John Dalton is considered the father of atomic theory. And of course, the father of inorganic chemistry. If Wooler is the father of organic chemistry, who is the father of inorganic chemistry? That's correct. That's Alfred Bird. So these are some of the uh, founding pillars of 
chemistry. No? So, recent board has already Antoine Labouchere. Dimitri Mendeleev no, has been one of the most common questions in majorship. And of course, Alfred Werner, this is already asked in the board exam. Okay, item number two, which of the following is not a characteristic property of organic compounds? A, low melting and boiling points. B, soluble, solubility in water. C, presence of carbon-hydrogen bonds. Or letter D, flammability. All right, not a characteristic property of organic compounds. What is your answer, feature that matters? All right, of course, for this item, that is correct. Letter B, soluble, solubility in water. So letter B is the correct answer. So most organic compounds are non-polar or only slightly polar, making them generally insoluble in water, So which is a polar solvent. So however, some organic compounds like alcohols, carboxylic acids, can dissolve in water due to hydrogen bonding. Okay? So, of course, uh, organic compounds, no, most organic compounds have low melting and boiling points because they are held together by weak intermolecular forces. Examples, of course, the uh, van der Waals forces or hydrogen bonding. So, presence of carbon-hydrogen bonds is also a characteristic of organic compounds primarily composed of carbon and hydrogen atoms. And lastly, most organic compounds are flammable due to their carbon-based structures, which readily undergo combustion in the presence of oxygen. So these are uh, distinguishing characteristics of organic compounds, uh, except, of course, the solubility in water. All right, item number three, which of the following organic reactions involves the removal of a molecule, example, water, to form a double band? A, addition, B, elimination, C, substitution, or letter D, reduction. Okay, removal of molecules. So when this, uh, when you encounter this question, so you can see removal of a molecule, of course, that's elimination. So letter B is the correct answer. Elimination. And when we talk about elimination, it involves the removal of small molecules like water, hydrochloric acid, NH3 from a saturated compound, often leading to the formation of a double or triple bond, like dehydration of alcohols to form alkenes. All right, so that is on elimination. While addition, it involves the addition of atoms or group to a molecule typically across a double or triple bond, increasing saturation like the hydro hydrogenation of alkenes. While substitution, a reaction or one functional group is replaced by another without forming or breaking multiple bonds. The example of this is halogenation of alkenes in an SN1 or SN2 mechanism. While reduction is a reaction involving the gain of electrons or addition of hydrogen atoms to an organic compound, often converting multiple bonds into single bonds like that of hydrogenation of alkenes to form alkene. So that's on addition, substitution, and reduction. Okay? Item number four, which of the following functional group is present in alcohols? Okay? AOH, BCOOH, CNH2, DCHO. Okay, so which of the following functional group is present in alcohol, right? So this one is very basic, of course, that's your OH or the hydroxyl group. No? The OH or the hydroxyl group, it is the functional group characteristics of our alcohols. Example are ethanol and methanol. So the hydroxyl group allows alcohols to form hydrogen bonds influencing their solubility and boiling point. So hydroxyl group OH, that's for our alcohol. While COH or carboxyl group found in carboxylic acids and not alcohol. So this group consists of a hydroxyl and a carbonyl group giving carboxylic acids their acidic properties. While NH2 or amino group characteristics of amines and amino acids and not alcohols, contributes to basicity and hydrogen bonding. While CHO or the aldehyde group is present in aldehydes where a carbonyl group is bonded to a hydrogen atom and a carbon chain. Okay, 
So that is on the different functional groups. Okay, so item number five, alkanes are classified as which type of hydrocarbon? A, aromatic, B, unsaturated, C, saturated, or letter D, cyclic. Okay, so what is your answer? Future LPTs, future top notchers, science majors, of course, for this, this is saturated. Letter C is the correct answer. So you, can, you can see that we have saturated hydrocarbons, maximum number of hydrogen atoms attached to each carbon atom, and alkanes and cycloalkanes with single carbon to carbon bonds, while the unsaturated hydrocarbons have fewer hydrogen atoms attached to the carbon chain than alkanes. Okay, so alkenes with double bonds and alkynes with triple bonds are some of these. Uh, some of its examples, okay? So, saturated versus the unsaturated hydrocarbons, okay? Item number six, what is the molecular formula Formula of benzene? A, C, C6, H14, B, C6, H12, C, C6, H10, or letter D, C6, H6, okay? So, what is your answer here? The molecular formula of benzene, Okay? Of course, that is letter D, that is C6H6. So that is our benzene. So benzene has C6H6, aromatic hydrocarbon, arene, uh, toluene. We have C7H8, methyl substituted benzene, ethyl benzene, C8H10, uh, ethyl substituted benzene, xylene, C8H10, dimethyl substituted substituted benzene, styrene, C8HH, uh, vinyl substituted benzene, naphthalene, C10H8, polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbon, anthracene, C14H10, polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbon, uh, phenanthrene, C14H10, polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbon, cyclohexane, C6, C6H12, saturated cyclic hydrocarbon, and lastly, cyclohexene, C6H10, unsaturated cyclic hydrocarbon. So these are some of the aromatic and related hydrocarbons, okay? Item number seven, which of the following is a type of addition reaction? A, esterification, B, hydrogenation, C, hydrolysis, or letter D, oxidation. Which of the following is a type of addition reaction? All right, so what is your answer? Future tap natures, future LPTs. Of course, that is correct, hydrogenation. Letter B is the answer hydrogenation. So hydrogenation is an addition reaction where hydrogen or H2 is added to a double or triple bond, converting alkenes to alkanes or alkynes to alkenes. So example here, we have C2H4 ethene plus H2, we have C2H6 or the ethane, okay? Hydrogenation, addition reaction. Esterification, on the other hand, is a condensation reaction where a carboxylic acid reacts with an alcohol to form an ester and water. Hydrolysis, a decomposition reaction where water breaks down a compound often seen in the breakdown of esters or amides. While oxidation involves the loss of electrons or an increase in the number of bonds to oxygen, example, alcohol to aldehyde or carboxylic acid. Okay? Item number eight, in a combustion reaction of an organic compound, what are the typical products formed? A, carbon dioxide and water, B, carbon monoxide and water, C, carbon and water, or letter D, carbon monoxide and oxygen. Okay, so what, in a combustion reaction of an organic compound, what are the typical products? Okay, so what is your answer? Future LPTs, future top notchers, of course, these are carbon dioxide and water. So carbon dioxide and water are the typical products for combustion reaction of an organic compound. And when we talk about a complete combustion reaction, such as hydrocarbons in the presence of excess oxygen, produces carbon dioxide and water as the main product. So example here, we have methane, CH4 plus two oxygen gases. So we have we will pre we'll be producing carbon dioxide and water. So basically, these are the products, okay? 
Item number nine, which of the following is the correct order of react reactivity toward nucleophilic acyl substitution? A, ester, acid chloride, amide, and carboxylic acid. B, acid chloride, ester, carboxylic acid, and amide. C, amide, carboxylic acid, ester, and acid chloride. Or letter D, carboxylic acid, amide, ester, and then acid chloride. So what is the correct order of reactivity? Okay, toward nucleophilic acyl substitution. Okay, what do you think is the answer here? Future top natures. Okay, of course, that is letter letter B. Acid, chloride, ester, carbolic, carboxylic acid, and amide. So that's from most reactive to the least reactive. So nucleophilic acyl uh, cell substitution occurs in carboxylic acid derivatives where a nucleophile replaces a living group. So this arrangement is from most reactive to the least reactive. So we have the acid chloride, ester, carboxylic acid, and amide. Okay, so that is our uh, arrangement. Okay, item number 10, last item, what is the result of the oxidation of a primary alcohol? A, ketone, B, alkene, C, aldehyde, D, ester. Okay, so what is the result of the oxidation of a primary alcohol? So what is your answer? Okay, feature top natures, of course. This is letter C, that is our Aldehyde. So aldehyde is the result of the oxidation of a primary alcohol. So particularly on the mild oxidation, converts a primary alcohol to an aldehyde, RCHO, by removing two hydrogen atoms, one from the hydroxyl group and one from the carbon. So that's from ethanol to acetaldehyde. Okay, so that is aldehyde. All right, so that's, I think, the end of our 10-item drill for organic chemistries. Okay? So, laban, papasa tayo, key fighting, my dear future LPT, my dear uh, future top naturals, and my dear science majors. So, I commit to uh, upload more, okay? <laughs> upload more videos, na lalo pag hindi na busy masyado sa office. I just came from the office and uh, filmed this uh, video and hopefully uh, you are uh, uh Okay, uh, you're trying no, our test drills, no? And uh, you can actually check our previous videos. Pag uh, bago ka pa lang sa ating channel, you might want to check our previous uh, videos, no? Mag uh, binge watch and mag marathon po kayo. And hopefully, the, you will be able to uh, reacquaint with the, the salient concepts for a science majorship. Everything uh, under the sun, no? Based on the enhanced TOS, um, can be asked by the board exam. So uh, again, you will always go back not to the basic, to the fundamental concepts. And uh, hopefully, the videos will be very helpful to all of you. Maraming salamat. No? I'd like to uh, appreciate all those who are, uh, you know, leaving comments in our videos. No? Nakakagana po ang inyong mga comments. So... Uh, para si Pagen po ako at mas mahompel to upload more. And uh, hopefully, abangan nyo din yung ating mga other videos pa. Hopefully, we'll be able to upload more of our test drills for science majorship. And not only that, I've been uploading also some gen ed, no? uh, science, and maybe other um, areas later on and some profit in our channel. So, once again, this has been your teacher, Daniel Akimasing Guru. Maraming salamat po. Uh, sa inyong pagsubaybay sa ating mga mini drills, mga test drills, and hopefully these are really giving you uh, some ideas no, of the areas which you need to focus on more. So, yun lang po, and uh, till our next video. Maraming salamat.